Hi there, it's Adam from Web Starts here again today to show you how to upload your content to your website using the Web Starts page editor. So what I've done is I've logged into my Web Starts account and when you first log into a Web Starts account you will be on a page that we call the dashboard. It looks like this here. Once you get to the dashboard, click the edit website icon and the Web Starts page editor will load. Now, I want to put some content into this design. This design is a pre-made uh, kind of suggestion, but every part about it is 100% customizable, which is totally different than our competitors, who a lot of times will load up their website builders with boring templates that everybody shares that have very limited customization. But once again, every part of this design is completely customizable. So I'm going to remove this photo of the family here because this isn't my family. This is just a stock image that we included with this design. And I'm going to replace it with an image of my own. And uh, if you notice there, I always save when I make changes so that in case my browser crashes or my computer comes unplugged or I lose access to the internet, I never lose my work. So now, notice I click right there on that. I'm going to show you that again, right on that icon. And what that does is it launches the file manager inside the Web Starts page editor. In the file manager, you'll find all of your photos, your videos, your audio files, even things like PDFs can be uploaded to Web Starts. But for this demonstration, what I'm going to do is upload a photo from my computer. So I click on Upload Files from Your Computer. Now I'm going to find a photo, and, my, and I'm going to look in my pictures. And I'm going to upload a little photo that I took a couple of days ago using Instagram of a kitten that I have and I'm going to add that to my page so you can see that a thumbnail has been generated and my photo is now in what's called my file manager notice these three little tabs here a lot of people don't notice this about web starts but you can actually log into your Facebook account and grab the photos directly out of your Facebook account. If you're already building a terrific photo library on Facebook, you can integrate it directly into your website, piece of cake. You can also access our uh, clip art image library. And of course, if you want to go back to the images you uploaded or that were included with the design like these three here, you go under the image tab. Now, if any time you want to delete any of these, just check this box and then click delete. I'm not going to do that in this video, but instead I'm going to click on this little kitten photo and I'm going to add it to my website. So now I've got this kitten photo on my website and I can resize it and place it exactly where I want it to appear. Uh, for example, I can grab the these that we call handles and I can just start dragging this so that it appears in there. Now, uh, a lot of times if you take a very high resolution or large photo and you cram it up to the page editor and then you put it on your page and resize it like that, it's actually creating a large file size and it's going to cause your page to load a little bit more slowly. So if you want to make sure your page loads as fast as possible, always be sure to resize your photos before you upload them. In this example, I actually didn't do that, but I think it's a good recommendation for when you're building your website. So there you have it. I've uploaded and resized a photo from my computer to my Web Starts page editor, and I've now clicked save and you can see that just like that, it's published live on the internet and everybody can see. And notice that there was just a slight hesitation because I didn't resize that photo to be the most, the optimized for the absolute maximum speed. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the link that appears in this video. And don't forget to visit webstarts.com, not only to build your very own free website, but to find more help just like this.